what is going on today everybody quick little video today actually a couple quick little videos today because for the first time in four years i'm going to be doing a fresh install on my pc so might as well get some content out there for you the viewer to watch before i go ghosting for i don't know a day an hour who knows however long it's going to take me to do this but the recent news today or yesterday because everybody probably already saw it was crackdown 3 has been delayed and this seems to be the pattern that Microsoft Game Studios and Microsoft and the whole Xbox brand is following now. Either to delay games, to cancel games, or hey, let's just not have any games. You want Fable? Cancelled. You want Scalebound? Cancelled. See a dog shit? Delayed. Crackdown 3? Delayed. I mean, what do you have to look forward to? To the Xbox One? What are they offering you? This year, this holiday, that the competition is not. Sea of Dog Shit, Super Lucky Tail, and yet another annual Forza. And there's nothing wrong with Forza, but it's practically the same racer you play every year, just like Madden is the same football game you play every year, just like 2K is the same basketball game you play every year. And four years into the generation, you shouldn't be talking about new hardware your most hyped thing shouldn't be talking about new hardware let alone spending 500 dollars on revised hardware it should be about playing games mostly everybody has the console they want now so it's about what are you playing on your console and what are you playing on your console is unfortunately judging by software sales is not much on the xbox one and if you don't believe me Look at the hardware sales. It's a rumor that the MPD for July is not looking too good for the Xbox One. And I don't blame it. I mean, like, who is really trying to buy one right now? Now, the argument a lot of Xbox guys will give you is that, oh, you know, hardware is winning the generation. And, you know, Sony didn't have any games. But now that the roles are going to be reversed, it'll be Microsoft with the more powerful console. And it will be Sony with the games, but you need to stop lying. You, you need to stop. Because from start to finish, as an objective person that doesn't even game on these consoles, because quite frankly, I don't like these consoles, the PlayStation 4 has had more games than the Xbox One from start to finish. And you can talk about quality, you can talk about scores, ratings, whatever, the bottom line is this, people. When it comes to making these games, securing these games, developing these games, Microsoft can't compete. Sony has better relations with the third parties. They have better relations with partnerships. They have more development studios. And when you look at the games that Sony is making, whether you like them or whether you don't like them, they make games that target an audience, an audience that buys their games which gives them sales and, hey, spawn sequels. Something that does not happen on the Xbox One. I mean, let's start out from the beginning. Killzone Shadowfall, 2.5 million. Drive Club, 2.5 million. Bloodborne is almost at 3 million. Knack, 1.75 million. Infamous Second Son, 3 million. MLB The Show is selling 1 million each release. All of these games are selling millions a couple million one even three million and these are games that have come out early on in the playstation 4's life cycle yet these microsoft guys will have you believe that sony has no games which is completely false i mean what have you had to play on the xbox you've really only had to play titanfall forza halo gears i mean look at all the offerings that microsoft has made otherwise in fact I'm sorry, they really haven't made anything otherwise because Rise, Quantum Break, Sunset Overdrive, and ReCore, they're not made by Microsoft. Microsoft is literally only making Forza, Halo, Gears. And the games they have secured by a third party, Rise, 1.5 million, Sunset Overflop, 1 million. Am I missing anything else that they released in the early years that just substantially trounce the PlayStation 4? A am I missing anything? Because I don't think I am. 
I mean, Titanfall, that was the big ace in the hole, but where is Titanfall now? Titanfall is a multiplayer, and now Titanfall probably won't even see a third game in the trilogy. I mean, you had ReCore, 300,000, Halo Wars, 300,000, Quantum Break, 700,000. I mean, Microsoft is struggling to secure a game, make a game, get a game that can even hit 1 million copies sold. And yet, here goes PlayStation 4, here goes Sony just trugging along until dawn, 1.75 million. The Order, 1.75 million. Ratchet and Clank, 2 million. Uncharted 4, 10 million. And then we can talk about all the third party games they've secured, like Neo, 1 million. Near Automata, 1 million and counting. They've got games like Yakuza. They, they just have too many games coming out for Xbox to compete. There, there, there is no competition. There is none. And when I read on Twitter that people have the PlayStation 4 as their secondary console, I'm like, hmm. You have it as your secondary console. I mean, the Switch is pretty new, so it doesn't have many games. The Xbox One really doesn't have anything in its pipeline, so... How is the system, the console, having pretty much the majority of games, pretty much the majority of all third-party support, pretty much the majority of all exclusives, how is that your secondary console? And then, even then, looking at Microsoft, they're not even having a hard time just competing with Sony. When you compare them to Nintendo, it's like they can't compete either. Nintendo probably released, for better or worse, whether you like them or dislike them, more exclusives this first year, this first six months on the Switch, and the Xbox One has released probably in the last one, two to three years, and that's if we're being generous and saying that their games on PC are multiplats, but if you're talking about game studios that Microsoft is actually owning, running, commanding, to actually make and develop games, like, they don't have any. And I hear the excuse of people saying that, oh, it takes 10 years, 5 years, you know, we gotta wait 3 years for Phil Spencer to buy, secure, rise up, bring up studios and make games. No, you don't. Because if you don't remember, let me educate you. Sony going into the PlayStation 2 during the PS2 era had more development studios, more first and second party support than Nintendo did. And that was Sony's second console. The GameCube was Nintendo's fourth console. So I don't want to hear it. I, I really don't. I don't I don't want to hear the excuses. Microsoft has more money. Sony's apparently going broke and out of business. Microsoft has more resources, yet Sony is outspending them, out making games of them, out developing them, out securing more third-party partnerships on them out marketing them sony is killing microsoft on every front imaginable i mean this is a japanese company that has more western in-house developers than microsoft themselves have and speaking of japanese developers i don't believe microsoft has one so the comparison is not even a comparison it is night and day Anybody objectively looking at consoles, I mean, if you're a Halo fanatic, you're a Halo fanatic, you're a Gears fanatic, you're a Gears fanatic, whatever, but objectively speaking, you cannot look at these consoles, you cannot compare these consoles and even say they're equal. It is clear as day that one console is vastly superior and is vastly more supported than the other. And even when the Scorpio comes, it's really not going to change. You're not going to get any games. I really feel like the Scorpio is just something they made because they know that they can't make their own games, that they can't secure their own games. So really, the Scorpio is their only way out. So I have a couple more videos today. I am working on the Persona 5 review. I am on vacation. Maybe I'll head out to the beach this weekend. But in the meantime, I want to concentrate on some content. So feel free to follow me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, check out the Weapon Wheel podcast and all that good stuff. Take it easy.